Hey guys, welcome to my quarantine edition morning routine. So the first thing I do when I wake up is to freshen up. So I brush my teeth, wash my face, and then I head into my living room. So I live in an apartment, so it's a little bit small, but I like to open the blinds first thing in the morning just to get some sunlight into the space and also to wake me up a little bit. And then right after that, I jump onto the couch and I check my emails to see if there's anything important. And then I also like to scroll Instagram to see what I missed out on. And then after that, I scroll Instagram again because it already told me I'm caught up, but I keep scrolling. And that is pretty much my morning routine. Oh wait, sorry guys. That was my old morning routine. Let's do that again. So some of you guys have been requesting for me to do my skincare routine so I thought I'll show you today and like I said I feel like my skincare routine is not really a routine like I feel like that's really not much to it but because you guys requested it I'm just gonna show you today I'm actually not particular in terms of like the brands that I use there are certain brands that I tend to repurchase but I'm usually that person that wants to try different things and I have quite a simple skincare routine I would say and my skin type is just like combination slash normal so I get oily in my t-zone but everywhere else is pretty like normal I guess my skin concerns would be like pigmentation so I don't know if you guys can tell but I got like freckles and stuff on my skin <laughs> but other than that um, it seems pretty normal so I'm just gonna run you through what I do so I've already washed my face and the cleanser I'm using at the moment is just a Japanese one that I picked up and it's called perfect whipped and yeah it's all right prior to this I was using one from philosophy which I've heard a lot of people really enjoy but I feel like personally for me I'm not that fussed with my cleanser so I'm happy to try whatever and when I run out I'll just pick up something it doesn't have to be high-end or drugstore it's kind of just like what I have access to at that time so once I've washed my face I go in with a essence so the one that I'm using at the moment is from fresh and it is the black tea kombucha facial essence Facial Treatment Essence. It says anti-pollution and age delay. I've heard good things about this, so I picked it up and as you guys can see, mine is pretty much done. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm not really sure if it made a difference, but at the same time, um, I don't know, I just, it's not doing anything bad to my skin. <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like I don't really pay like super close attention to my skin and also I feel like lately it's been pretty well behaved occasionally I get like a pimple here and there but overall it's like pretty normal I would say so once I'm done with the essence I go in with a serum and currently the one I'm using is from Clarins it's the V shaping facial lift so it's a contouring serum because you know we need that like snatch face and I've honestly been using this for such a long time since I was like in high school I don't know and I repurchased it recently when I was at the airport in Malaysia and it was like duty-free and I was like I need a new serum and then I remembered like I used to love this so I picked it up again so I just go with like one pump and sort of you know just pull it all over my face 
and not forgetting your neck as well and then I go in with eye cream and I feel like eye cream is really essential for my skincare routine because in terms of makeup I don't really use any like heavy foundations or anything but I always use concealer so I don't know if you guys can tell I got like some dark circles under my eyes um, but I feel like if you have an eye cream it definitely helps in terms of like the concealer not creasing and not looking like cakey or anything and currently the one I'm using is the Kylie Skin one. I can't say that I really really like this product but it's because I bought it so I'm just gonna keep using it until I use it up. I won't repurchase it. I don't feel like it's doing anything extra for me. Um, prior to this I was using one from Glossier. Um, I think that was so so as well and then I also tried the one from like Kiehl's. Like I said guys I usually just try like different um, like products but I do enjoy the one from Fresh I think it's part of the black tea range um, I've used that eye cream as well so yeah I would have to say I actually really like Fresh products so that is one brand that I tend to repurchase but it is a little bit expensive um, so yeah anyway I'm just patting on my eye cream and then once I'm done with that I go in with a second step which is an eye gel plus and this one I got from my friend's skincare clinic so my friend Catherine has like a skin clinic and she has the most amazing skin oh my goodness when I look at her I'm like how? Like, how is your skin so perfect? But anyway, when I went to see her last time, um, she recommended that I use an eye gel as well as an eye cream because when she saw me, my like under eyes were probably like really dry. <laughs> she was just like, what are you using? I'm like, Kylie skin. <laughs> um, so I was actually using the eye cream from this brand, but I ran out. So that's why I'm back to the Kylie skin. Um, but on top of the eye cream, I put this eye gel. So I'll link my friend's skin clinic down below if you guys are in Melbourne I highly recommend that you go there because she is so good at what she does and yeah the place is really really good and they recommend like such great things I feel like I'm not very observant in terms of like looking at my skin and like knowing what I need I'm quite like chill <laughs> with my skincare I would say so yeah anyway I put the eye gel on and I feel like this really helps in terms of like concealer application I feel like everything looks a lot smoother and nicer so I'll just tap that on gently with my ring fingers um, and then after that I just go in with some moisturizer so the moisturizer that I'm using at the moment is from Origins and it's the ginseng one I picked this up recently actually prior to this I was using the fresh black tea moisturizer and I do like that one it's a little bit heavy but I feel like it was alright like it was good <laughs> but I ran out and I thought I'd just try something different so I picked this up because again I've heard people talk about it um, they do have like a gel version but I picked up the cream version only because I feel like um, you know I need a little bit more hydration and like don't forget your neck I don't know whether I put too much on but anyway so mm, I just rub it in gently I feel like doing my skincare routine in front of a camera is very new to me um, because yeah I usually talk about sneakers <laughs> not skincare but since you guys requested I hope you um, are enjoying it so far. I know it's probably like not very professional or anything and I'm sitting on my bedroom floor. I tried filming it in my bathroom before but with my bathroom it was super echoey and also when I turn on the light um, it's connected to the exhaust fan so I feel like it was just too noisy so that's why I'm redoing my skincare again <laughs> on my bedroom floor. Um, so yeah, once I've gotten my moisturizer on, I have one last step. So the last step is just some sunscreen. So I feel like this is super, super, super essential. And I don't ever skip sunscreen, even if I'm not heading out or even I'm not going to be like in direct sunlight. Um, I just feel like it's like out of habit that every morning once I've done my skincare routine, I always go in with a sunscreen and again I'm not like super particular so the one I'm using at the moment is just this one over here and I picked it up when I was in Japan it's SPF 50++ 
PA++++. <laughs> There's a lot of plus on there. But yeah, I like to try different sunscreens as well. And I don't like sunscreens that are like too greasy. And this one is good because it's sort of like a gel and it doesn't get like you know too greasy and it doesn't do like that thing where it like kills you know sometimes it gets like peely and then when you rub your skin it like rubs off um so this one doesn't but like i said i picked this up when i was in japan more than a year ago uh so hopefully this product hasn't expired but i only opened it towards the end of last year so i think it should be fine it's taking me a while to go through this because it's such like a big tube but i do use it every day i just squeeze a small amount on my palms and just no. So I just apply it all over my face. Um, I feel like you're meant to do like upwards motions when you put on your skincare. Is that a thing? So um, yeah. I can't tell whether I put this properly because usually I'm doing this in front of a mirror, not a camera. But I don't think there's any like weird white streaks on my face, right? But no, I can't tell. But anyway. Guys, that is my everyday skincare routine. So my nighttime routine is a little bit different. I just switch up a few steps. So I do the same thing. I wash my face. Um, obviously, I remove my makeup. Um, but after I remove my makeup, I wash my face with the same cleanser, same essence. In terms of the serum, the nighttime serum that I use is this one over here from Drunk Elephant. I'm sure you guys have seen this as well. It's really, really popular and that's probably one of the main reasons why I bought this because everyone was talking about it and it's meant to be really good for like, what does it say? Resurfaces dull congested skin by gently lifting away dead skin cells. And it's meant to help with like skin tone, texture, fine lines, wrinkles and pores. Again, I feel like my skin is generally quite well behaved so I don't see like a huge difference but again it's not making my skin worse. Maybe it's like just maintaining it to look like that so I guess it is doing something. So I use this at night for my night serum and then in terms of my eye cream I use this one here from Peter Thomas Roth and I feel like this product is really really good. It is a retinol fusion PM eye cream so you know again it's meant to help with like like anti-aging or like lines and stuff so i use that and then on top of that i use the same eye gel i use the same moisturizer that i use during the day and then the last step i do at night is i put a really thin layer of this kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate so it is an oil and i've had this bottle for quite a long time if you guys can tell the packaging is like different because it's like a christmas edition one and honestly i don't know whether this is still good again i've had this for way too long but because you only need a small amount it's taking me a really long time to finish this up but i feel like this is a really good product for at night i don't know i i, I don't know how to explain <laughs> things uh, for skincare but I feel like I like that product and it's like you know keeping my skin looking how it is and that is pretty much what I do for my skincare routine guys like once in a while when I feel like it I do like a sheet mask um, again not very particular I picked up a few um, Korean ones so I do that like when I'm in you know the mood to do a face mask and um, yeah that is my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was somewhat informative. So anyway, let's go make some breakfast. Actually no, before we make some breakfast, I'm gonna maybe put a little bit of makeup on just so I don't look crazy for the rest of the vlog. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So my makeup is done and I've done like super minimal makeup but I think this is probably what you guys are used to seeing me look like and you guys can see my bed is not made yet so let's just go and do that.
a green juice, but it is now obviously later in the day, so this has now become a different kind of beverage. Um, but I thought I will keep talking about my morning routine to you guys because I only showed a little bit of it and I feel like personally for me, I found it a little bit difficult to adjust to this, I guess, new lifestyle. So we're all self-isolating or, you know, social distancing and staying home a lot. And I know this is a huge change to a lot of people. And I can only speak for myself, obviously, because I live by myself. I know everyone is in a different situation. But personally for me, I feel like the first week I was just so confused um, in terms of what I want to do with all this time. Funny thing is prior to all of this happening, I used to think to myself like, man, I wish I had more time because I want to you know, work on my content. I want to come up with better content and more content. And right now, all we have is time. And some of us are just so confused about what to do with it or just, I guess, complaining a lot. And I don't want to come off as like ignorant or anything, but I feel like in this situation that we're in, the only thing we can do at this stage is just to accept it, if that makes any sense at all. I know it's scary not knowing how long this will all go for, but at the same time, I feel like worrying or stressing about something that you cannot change doesn't change anything. Wait, does that make any sense? But you guys know what I mean. Like, I'm the kind of person where I don't really like to worry or stress about a lot of things if I know that it is out of my control. And this situation, for example, it is completely out of our control. And as long as we do our part, everything will get better. We should just sort of make the most out of all this time we've been given. Because if you think about it, once everything gets normal again, I feel like everything is gonna move at a faster pace because we all have work to go to. Or like if you have school, you have to go back to school and think about all the social things that you want to be doing that we haven't been able to do and I feel like we will no longer have that luxury of having all this like extra time. Honestly, the first week there were days where I was somewhat productive in terms of like coming up with content and you know cleaning my house and trying to be productive but there are days where I turned into a massive sloth and I was just like on my couch all day eating all the snacks in my pantry, watching Netflix and YouTube and I think it's totally fine to have those days but I feel like doing that on a consistent basis is not going to be good for you so I wanted to do this morning routine just to hopefully inspire some of you guys and probably put you in a more positive mindset so for me my new morning routine is that I try and wake up either like 7 30 or 8 a.m. because I am a morning person and when I wake up early in the morning I feel like I'm much more productive and I feel like my day is much longer instead of sleeping in even though there's nothing wrong with sleeping in once in a while but personally for me this is what works for me so when I wake up I didn't show it in the beginning of the video but I generally do a little bit of exercise or recently I've been going out to the lake for a run or a walk obviously you should follow the restrictions um, where you're at but here in Melbourne it's fine to go outside for exercise so that is what I've been doing if the weather is nice and I feel like that really puts me in like a really positive mood and then that also puts me in the mood where I feel like I want to eat better because like I said the first few weeks I was just eating absolute rubbish <laughs> and also I bought so much like instant food initially because people were panic buying things and there wasn't a lot of food in the supermarket so I had all this like instant noodles and I was eating just not very healthily and I think that overall like affects my mood and you know how I feel and how I feel like I look I know that sounds really like superficial but I feel like everything sort of works together like if you feel good then I think your overall mood is better as well so obviously I've been trying to eat a lot better um, but at the same time with all this free time I've been revisiting like old hobbies that I used to have so one of my old hobbies is actually baking <laughs> also eating so I think eating is not really a hobby but I know we're just gonna say it's a hobby <laughs> it's a good hobby to have 
Um, so this is me talking about being healthy and then I'm here eating all the baked goods, but whatever. I hope this makes sense to some of you guys. So what I want to say is, you know, with all this time, if you have something that you always wanted to do, I think this is the perfect time to do it. You know, if you like reading or like sewing, if you always wanted to start a YouTube channel, I think this is the perfect time to do it. Um, you don't need any fancy equipment and stuff. The camera I use is like three years old now and it's just a small vlogging camera, but you can always vlog with your phone. But yeah, I feel like there's just so many things you can do with your time and I feel like you shouldn't be wasting the time you've been given because like I said, once everything gets back to normal, I feel like we'll definitely miss having all this time if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, that's what I've been trying to do, just trying to work on my content and hopefully you guys are enjoying my content. I try my best to be a little bit more creative in terms of what I come up with in each of my video because I'm filming by myself with a tripod at home so I'm limited by like my space I guess and what I can do by myself but I, I try so I hope you guys are enjoying it so far I hope you guys are staying safe and I think that's pretty much it for my morning routine wait, is that my morning routine? what else do I do? I think that's my morning routine guys um, just try and be positive just try and do things that you love one of the most ridiculous things I've been doing is actually cleaning the outsoles of my shoes so that I can like pretend like I wear shoes at home but actually I don't even wear shoes at home um, I just like post on Instagram like this whole flex from home anyway it's ridiculous I hope you guys are enjoying it anyway I think that's all I have for you in this video I know it's very long and I talked a lot but I hope some of you guys enjoyed it anyway and if you stayed till the end thank you so much um, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really really soon bye so I realized this whole video, I have not spoken about a single sneaker. So I feel obligated to show you my flex from home today. Well, this is so awkward. <laughs> um, but the shoes I'm wearing today is the Yeezy 750s in the chocolate colorway. And if you can see the outsole is very clean because I cleaned it so I can wear them at home, which sounds so ridiculous <laughs> when I say it out loud. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just show you guys. I can't remember when these came out, probably 2016 or 2017. And I don't actually wear these a lot and I actually forgot that I had these. So I decided to pull them out today because they go very well with the, this is so awkward, I'm sorry. But it goes very well with the hoodie that I'm wearing at the moment. And this hoodie is Yeezy season three. I really like it, it's like super cozy. With my 750s, I actually won a raffle for them when they came out. I remember I almost didn't even try entering that raffle because I was on my lunch break the day they were running the raffle at Adidas in Emporium and I was thinking to myself like oh, I won't have time there's probably gonna be too many people so on my lunch break I just had my lunch and then as I was walking back to work um, I saw that there was like no one at Adidas there's probably like two people in line so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna try and when I went to the counter they were like oh we've only got like six and a half left do you want to enter I'm like that is my size so I entered the raffle and I won the raffle so I managed to pick up this pair so yeah anyway that was the story about my 750s that no one wanted to know about um, but I felt like I wanted to show you guys my sneakers anyway so anyway thanks for watching guys bye